Now that we know how ARP spoofing works, let's see how we can run this attack and redirect the flow of data so it flows through our device. This will allow us to intercept data and see everything sent to and from a target computer, including usernames, passwords, and so on. Now there are a number of tools that can be used to run an ARP spoofing attack. You can even build your own tool, and I cover this in my Python programming course. But in this lecture, I want to show you how to use a very simple yet reliable tool called ARP spoof. Then in the next lectures, we'll use a tool called BetterCap because it has more features. Basically, the main reason why I want to cover ARP spoof in this lecture because it is a very simple tool, but it's very reliable. It's also ported to many operating systems, including iOS and Android. Therefore, if you learn how to use it here, you'll be able to use this tool on all of the other operating systems. So, you can only use this tool to redirect the flow of data and make it flow through your computer, and then you'll have to use another tool like a packet sniffer like Wireshark to analyze this data and do more stuff with it. And we'll cover all of this later on in the course. Now using ARP spoof is very simple. First, we're gonna have to type its name, so it's ARP spoof. Then we're gonna do dash I to specify the interface that is connected to the target network. And in my case, it's ETH0 because that's the interface that's connected to the network. So if I do if config, you'll see ETH0 is the interface that's connected. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna be running this attack against my virtual NAT network. You can run this attack against any type of network, even Wi-Fi networks, and I will cover that later on in the course, but for now, just until you properly understand how this works, I highly recommend you do like I'm doing right now and test the attack against the virtual NAT network. So all you'll have to do is make sure the Kali machine and the target Windows machine are both configured to use the same NAT network. So we're gonna do dash T to specify the target and my target is at 10.0.2.7. As you can see in here, that's the IP of my target. And I'm gonna have to give it the IP of the gateway, which is at 10.0.2.1, as you can see in here. Now this will spoof the target, telling him that I am the router. We'll also need to run this command once more in here. So I'm gonna clear the screen. And again, I'm gonna do IRP spoof, I ETH zero, and the target this time is going to be 10.0.2.1 and 10.0.2.7. So right now we're gonna be telling the router that I am the victim. So the first one will fool the victim, the second one will fool the router. Now keep in mind, this attack will work against both Ethernet and Wi-Fi or wireless networks. I'm running it right now against the virtual network, which acts as an Ethernet or a wired network, but the attack can be executed exactly the same against wireless networks. All you have to do is connect a wireless adapter to the Kali machine, connect the adapter to the target network, and use it. So the same concept as the network scanner applies. You need to have a wireless adapter that works well with Kali and you need to have that adapter connected to Kali and connected to the target network. So I'm gonna hit enter here and I'm gonna hit enter here. And now if we go to the target machine and run the same command ARPA, you're gonna see that the MAC address now for the router is different than what it was. And this is actually the MAC address of the Kali machine. So right now, this Windows machine thinks the router is at this MAC address, and every time it needs to send requests, it will send it to this MAC address, which means that they will be sent to this computer right here. Now, 
This computer is not a router, so when it gets requests, it's actually going to stop them from flowing and going to the router. This is a security feature in Linux. So you need to enable port forwarding so that this computer would allow packets to flow through it just like a router. Now to enable port forwarding, we're going to do echo one to proc sys net IP version four IP forward. And as you can see, this command gets executed with no issues. And right now, this computer will still have its internet access, so we can go and browse any website we want. But all these requests are not going directly to the router, but they are going to this computer first, and then this computer is forwarding them to the router, as shown in this diagram, and then when the responses come back, they're gonna go to the hacker first, and then they go to the victim. So, as you can see, a very simple tool. It allows us to redirect the flow of data, so it flows through our computer, allowing us to become the man in the middle. And once we're the man in the middle, we can inject code in the browser of the target. We can steal usernames, passwords, see all the information that the person sends and receives, replace downloaded files with Trojans, and much, much more.